my name is Nicole and welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy videos on home decor and DIYs on a budget and you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. For today's video, I am going to do a tiered farmhouse style tray. Now the first DIY video that I ever did was a tiered tray. I will link that below or put it up in the cards, whichever, um, or I may do both, which I use on my coffee bar as a holder for our K cups. And I also did two more trays. They're not tiered, but again, they're that farmhouse style. One's a jewelry tray and one I have by my sink and it just holds like our dish soap and stuff like that. So I will link those all below, but I love making trays and they're super affordable. You can really use any materials that you have on hand and you can create something really custom and it's so much cheaper than buying it in stores. If you have gone to Hobby Lobby or Pier One or any store like that, even on sale, tiered trays, since they're such a popular, versatile item, they're so expensive and I hope you get some inspiration from this video to use some things that you already have to make a custom tiered tray. What made me wanna make this tier tray in the first place is I found, speaking of Pier 1 before, this beautiful charger plate that was originally, I think like $19, and I got it on clearance for $4 and change. And I knew I would do something with it. They didn't have enough for a full service um, of six or eight, but I didn't want it for a place setting. I knew I would use it for a DIY. So that is kind of the base of this tiered tray. I also decorated it, which you will see at the end, with some items that I also got from that Pier 1 clearance, as well as some things from Dollar Tree, some things I already had around my house. Well, everything I pretty much had around my house already. But some things from Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, and just kind of odds and ends like that. But I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gives you some DIY inspiration. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And actually, before we get into this video, I just wanted to say thank you. I wrote over my community tab that I am so excited and I cannot believe that I have already surpassed 2,000 subscribers. That is just so crazy to me. I've only been doing YouTube now for going on three months and I'm just having so much fun. I love being creative. I love seeing just all the different um, DIY and just creative videos that there are on YouTube and I'm just so excited that you guys are liking my videos and I'm really enjoying making them. So thank you for subscribing. It means so much to me and let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. I am pretty good with getting back to the comments and I love talking with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into this DIY because I'm sure this intro is like, yeah, it's like almost four minutes long, but such is life. Okay, let's get into the DIY. So I'm first going to take two of these glass candle holders that I picked up at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to give them one thin coat of some white matte paint. I decided to use some of the Apple Barrel paint from Walmart and the matte white finish and I'm just going to give both of them an even coat. Now taking some light brown um, craft paint that I had on hand and a makeup sponge, I am going to paint both of the candlesticks while the white paint is halfway dry. And I'm just gonna kind of sponge the brown paint on each of the candlesticks to give it a little more of a rustic look. Now I am taking a wooden rolling pin that I also picked up at Dollar Tree and I just cut that in half. I am going to do the same paint technique with the makeup sponge on both of the rolling pins and the paint sponge or the makeup sponge already had some of the white and brown mix but I'm just going to add a little more white to it to give the same effect. Now taking two cake pans also from Dollar Tree. I'm going to give the inside and outside an even two coats with some Rust-Oleum chalk paint and linen white. Now 
now once everything is dry, it's time to assemble. So I am just gonna put the two candlesticks together using some hot glue and make sure that the ridges are even and just press that together. And now I'm gonna use this beautiful charger that I picked up on clearance from Pier 1 and this will be the base of my tiered tray. So I'm going to take some hot glue and put glue around the perimeter of the candlestick and I'm just going to firmly place that centered in the middle of the charger. Now for the rest of the layers of this tear tray, I'm going to go in with E6000. It just has a much stronger hold than the hot glue. And I'm going to put my first cake pan on top of that candlestick. And then I'm going to put E6000 on this rolling pin that I'm using for the second layer. And again, making sure that everything is even. Repeat this for all of the layers. And I want to add the nice thing about E6000 is that since it takes a little bit of time to set, you do have time to kind of play with the position of everything and make sure that it is nice and even and centered. Now I wanted to add a little more of a farmhouse look to this. So using this random craft ring that I have, you can even use like a binder ring. I'm just taking a little bit of hot glue and gluing that on the very top of the rolling pin. And this is what the tray looks like bare. And now I'm gonna show you a few of the items that I picked from around my house that I'm going to style this tray with and I'll be switching this out season to season. But for this look, I wanted to go with summer, some black and white, some greenery, and just have it look really fresh and summery. A lot of this stuff I either got from Amazon, Target Dollar Spot, Pier 1 on clearance, Hobby Lobby. I just used some stuff that I had around my house, and I just wanted to play with this and kind of figure out what would work best on each layer of the tray, and that's what I'm doing here. These tiered trays are great for displaying seasonal decor and all, all those kind of like little pieces that are too small on their own but look nice together. So this is a great way to display those pieces in your decor. And this is how the tray looks all styled and ready for summer. I'm so happy with the way that this turned out. I hope you enjoyed this DIY and it gave you some inspiration to try a tiered tray like this on your own. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.